Hello, in this video, we're going to see about persistent volume claims, PVC. So these are objects in Kubernetes, and we can attach persistent volume claims to a pod. A pod is the fundamental unit in Kubernetes, and we can attach a PVC to a pod. And when a PVC gets attached to the pod, the PVC is going to search for available PVs, persistent volumes already available in the cluster. And if it successfully finds one PV, that PV is going to attach with the PVC. So the PVC and the PV are going to be bound. They will be in a binded state. In a cloud environment, even if there is no PV already existing in the cluster, and when you create a PVC and you attach the PVC to the pod, even if there is no PV, with the help of the cloud platform, such as the Google Kubernetes engine, the PV can also get automatically created because it would find a disk, such as the Google Tube Compute Engine persistent disk with whatever capacity that, defined, that is defined in the pod manifest for the PVC. So this, this storage and this GCPD could actually get indirectly attached to the pod in this manner. So it is not getting attached directly, but we are attaching the pod with the PVC. The PVC is getting attached to the PV and PV is in turn attached to the real storage like the GCPD, GC persistent disk. So let's see this in action. So we have got our configuration files here. So let's look at the configuration that we are going to do for this module. So we have got a pod configuration. So let's look at the pod configuration first. So this is the manifest or the configuration for the pod. The kind is going to be pod as usual. The AP version is V1. Metadata, we are gonna give it some name. So under spec, we're going to say, we're going to call the volumes that has to get attached to this pod. So volumes, we have got something like volume PVC cube print, that's just the name, but what we are going to attach is nothing but a persistent volume claim. So we have got a name for that as well. And container section, we are going to call an Nginx image and the volume mount path defines where the PVC volume should get attached to. So this is going to be the, the Nginx HTML folder where the index file is gonna be saved. So this is the pod configuration. Now let's look at the PVC configuration. So the PVC configuration is here because we also need to create a PVC so that that PVC can get attached to the pod. So this is the persistent volume claim. This is also gonna have the API version similar to that of the pod, which is V1. We are giving it the name and whatever name we give here, we are gonna call it with the same name inside the pod. So this is the claim name. So this is the claim name. So this is nothing but the name of the PVC object that we are creating here. And we are gonna say a few things about the PVC itself, like what it has to be, like what is the access modes. The access modes can be the standard ones, you know, we have something like read, write ones, read, uh, write many, right? So we are gonna use read, write ones. And we need a three gig capacity storage for this PVC. And as of now, if you see in this cluster, you don't have any persistent volume existing. Get PV, no resources found. We are doing all of this in the default namespace itself. And that is why we are not giving the hyphen and switch. The PVC is also not there because we have not created it yet. Now let's go ahead and create the PVC. Create the PVC using the create command. The PVC is getting created. Now let's go ahead and check, check the status of the PVC. So it is already bound. This PVC is bound with this volume. This volume is nothing but the PV. So which means that the PV has also got created. So cube cuttle, get PV, you're gonna see the PV. So you didn't create a PV, the PV got created automatically. And this PV has to attach to 
the Google Compute Engine persistent disk because we are running this exercise on the Google Cloud, right? So let's go ahead and see what it has got. Describe PV and we are gonna call the name of the PV here. And let's see what details it can show us. So we have got this at the end. It says it is a GCE persistent disk. We didn't create it. It got created automatically. We just created a PVC. So the PD name is here and the PD uh, file system type is mentioned. Everything is there. And the capacity of this persistent volume is three gigs. We can also use the Google Cloud command, the G Cloud command, just to see if, you know, the list of disks that are already there in Google Cloud. Yeah, I need to set the project first. And uh, if you if you give the project name, it would show you what, I mean, how many disks are there and you should be able to uh, find it out, all right? So let me see if I can get the project information. Uh, yeah, I can give the command uh, compute wrongly. So we, I just have to give products. So this is the practice. Uh, yeah, this is the project I think which I'm in right now, the disco bedrock. So let me try to find it. I mean, let, let me try to list the disks again by setting the project first. So config set project. So the names are gonna change in your case. So these are going to be unique. So since these are temporary projects, I don't think it's okay even if we share this with you, the names of it, as we will be deleting them often. 248013. So I'm gonna set the project name now. And after that, I'm going to give, I'm going to view the list of disks using the compute disks list command. is going to show me uh, lots of disks, but this is the one that we are looking for, which got created because of the PVC and because of the PV in turn. So this disk has got created. Now we have not attached the PVC yet to the pod. So let's go ahead and create the pod. I forgot the manifest name. So let me just do a list just to see where the file is. Yeah, I got the file. So cube cuttle create hyphen f p o p v c. So this is a pod manifest. I'm gonna create the pod right now. The pod is getting created. Yes. So cube cuttle get pods. So we have got lost supports in this, so nothing to worry. I'm just gonna filter it based on the name p p o p v c cube train and the container is getting created right now. So we can also use the watch flag just to see the live state of software. And now the pod seems to run. So in this exercise, we have seen how to attach, attach a persistent volume claim to a pod, which in turn would attach a PV and further the finally the disk, which is available in the cloud environment. Since we are using cloud environment, we got the GCPD. But in case you don't have a way to create disks manually, then you need to ensure that the persistent volume is already existing. So that is what we have to ensure. And if I delete the PVC, let's see what is going to happen. So this is our cleanup. So I'm going to delete the pod first. Okay, so the, what is the name of the pod? Yeah, PVC. POPVC cube train is the name of the pod. So I'm just gonna delete the pod first. So however, we are not showing how the persistency is existing because we have already covered it in a few other exercises, how the volume is actually persistent. So that case will hold good for this also, but that's it, that is covered in different exercises to see how a volume can be, uh, can be mentioned or persistent or how it can prove itself to be persistent. So that is already covered in different modules. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this pod first. After deleting this pod, let me go ahead and uh, delete the PVC because these are the two things which I created. So I'm going to delete the PVC, which is PVC hyphen to train. So this is getting deleted, that's it. 
now let's see if at all anything is existing no pvc how would the pv no pv i just deleted pvc which i created the pv got deleted automatically now let's go ahead and check if the compute disk is existing or not which got created because of the pv so compute disks list and let's see if you see anything with a three gig capacity anymore there isn't any so which means that the disk has also got deleted so pvc is a dynamic way of attaching volumes or disks to a pod so when we say a pod even this attachment can go further in terms of higher level objects such as deployments uh, team and sets and so on because it is also going to have a pod configuration inside so this is how we can attach persistent volume claims to pods hope this module was helpful and we thank you for watching